So our next lesson on research methods is going to be about secondary sources, qualitative secondary sources. And first, here's five questions on the previous lesson, interviews. Read them. If you don't know the answer, go back to the previous video. So, secondary sources. Yeah. In, in particular today, we can look at qualitative secondary sources. Um, words, not numbers. Here are some of the examples we'll be using. So, if a sociologist gathers the data for themselves, if you go out and you do observations, or you do interviews, or you do questionnaires, that's called primary research. You've done it. Any research where the sociologist is your data that somebody else has gathered is called secondary. If you use somebody else's book, it's secondary. If you look at official stats from the government, that's sec secondary. Yeah, and there's more than one type. And we're going to focus on qualitative methods. Stuff like newspapers, television shows, movies, diaries, novels, stuff from the past. If we wish to study the culture in the past, compare it to how it's changed today, you have to use sources from the past. We haven't got a time machine, so we can't go back a hundred years and hand out questionnaires. You have to look at the stuff from that time, and some of that is qualitative movies. And they tell us about culture in the past, and we can compare them to cultures today. So, for example, we know that about 70 odd years ago, about 75% of the population smoked. Today, that number is more like 17, probably even lower by now. So, some things happened. We know that using qualitative research, we can perhaps try and figure out why. Here are photographs of movie stars from the time when everyone smoked. And you can see these are the main characters. These are the attractive women, the heroes of the movies. And it's suave. It's sophisticated. Smoking was seen as a positive thing. It was shown in a positive way. People you wanted to copy smoked. So smoking was quite positive. Here's some images of people smoking today. The imagery around smoking has changed a lot, from very positive to very negative. If you watch a movie today and a character is smoking, they're the bad guy. That's one of the ways they usually show a bad guy. Yeah? That's a qualitative secondary source. You can see how the culture's changed over time. So they're qualitative. A PO is also a qualitative research method. This means when you write it off, you have to use words to describe what you're seeing, not so much numbers. Yeah. And there you go, if you want the assessment question, that's the sort of thing that comes up. 